Hey everybody, Dean Graziosi, multiple New York Times bestselling author, but even more importantly, a broke kid who found real estate over 22 years ago and became a millionaire in my 20s because of it, and I've gone on to teach hundreds of thousands of people to do the same thing. I have a place on this page for your name and email address for two really important reasons. One, I've created the best training I've ever put together in my life to show anyone how to take advantage of this down market and put money in your pocket. I don't care if you're broke and in debt and never thought about real estate or you're an investor that wants to go the next level, you need to put your name and email address and be ready to be blown away. Secondly, just for entering your name and email address and watching my training videos, one of you is gonna win one of my investment properties. $65,000 is what Zillow says it's worth. It's rehabbed and rented for $750 a month. Somebody's gonna get the keys. No catch, no strings, no kidding. And lastly, I produced a video that shows my life, well, if I didn't do something different, if I didn't take action with real estate. I'd like to show you that right now. But at any time, put your name and email address and I'll see you on the other side. Is this thing on? Are we ready? Yeah, I guess I'm getting paid $100 for some alternative lifeline or something. Hey, I could use the 100 bucks. Um, uh, you know, they want me to tell my story real fast. I mean, it starts pretty much in seventh grade. I was in, you know, special reading. Mrs. Thompson, she used to call me dumb pretty much every day, but they weren't so smart back then on dyslexia. And, and you know, she thought I was dumb. Maybe, maybe I was, I don't know. But, you know, in the early 90s, I think I had a shot to, to really do something different and um, maybe not be a mechanic. Not that being a mechanic's bad. Um, I was going to get into real estate because I saw all the people in my little town with money were in real estate. So I got excited, but then my sister, who I trust, you know, she sat me down and she said, Dean, stop being a dreamer, stick with what you know. But, you know, I'm a little stubborn, so I went and got a book anyway. And I started reading. I was pretty excited about real estate. But then my dad saw the book and he sat me down. It was pretty similar, except he said, those people started with money and probably a college education. You don't have money, you can't do it. But I have to tell you, I was still a little bit on the fence. But then I saw all the news. We were in a down real estate market. I mean, you look at, I kept this through the years. This is an actual New York Times from the early 90s. It said, you know, big slide in housing prices, latest worry on Wall Street. And they were all over the headlines. So that's when I decided to stick with what I knew. Life's not that bad. I, um, you know, I've gotten some raises through the years. I had really good health insurance, but my boss, who's in the other room right now, um, things are tight, so he had to take back the health insurance. Um, and you know, my wife and I got a nice little house. I mean, I probably have a, a hundred years worth of payments on it, but you know, it's okay. I, I think some of the things I might regret is that, you know, I just thought there was more for me after school. I really thought I could be something. And you know, I, I hate the stress and worry about the bills. There's never enough, and me and my wife fight about it.